Hey folks, I've been tagged, the dinner tag. My uh, friend JB over at uh, Louisiana Cajun Recipes tagged me. Everybody knows JB. He always has that big uh, spring fling over there in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where they do the big crawfish bowl, and a bunch of us YouTubers always go over there. So JB tagged me, so I feel like I had to do this. So dinner tag is got to answer nine questions. So here we go. Number one. Favorite crock pot meal? That's easy. Corned beef and cabbage. Absolutely love it. And I actually don't use a crock pot. Crock pot is actually a, a crock, uh, that's a brand, crock pot. You know, I actually use what's called the instant pot, and I absolutely love the instant pot. Uh, it's a combination crock pot and uh, pressure cooker, and it can do so many different things. So I use the instant pot. So, corned beef and cabbage definitely my favorite easy cleanup meal anything on the grill I cook an entire meal on the grill whether it's chicken or steak or pork or whatever I'll grill the vegetables I'll grill potatoes or whatever uh, anything on the grill is gonna be an easy cleanup favorite Pinterest dish I do have a Pinterest account and I do occasionally put some of my recipes up there but I'm not a big Pinterest fan for like finding recipes. I'll, I'll, I'll use YouTube uh, for, for recipes. So I really don't use Pinterest all that much. Healthiest dinner dish you make? Uh, that would have to be a salad. And one of my wife's favorites is a grilled chicken Caesar salad that I make with a, a homemade dressing with olive oil and uh, lemon juice and uh, anchovy paste and stuff like that. And it's really good, really good. Uh, it's easy to make too because it's on the grill. Uh, favorite soup you make? Oh, that would have to be my uh, vegetable beef. And uh, one of the things that I like about it that my father used to make this all the time when I was growing up. And one of the, his ingredients was V8 juice. So use V8 juice uh, instead of like a, a tomato broth or tomato stock or tomato paste or something like that. Use V8 juice. It adds a lot of flavor to your vegetable beef uh, soup. Uh, most unique dish you make. Uh, I make quite a few of them. Definitely, if you look at my channel, you'll see some pretty interesting things. I would have to say my most unique is one of my signatures that kind of started my channel, and it's the Texas Hot Wiener Sauce. If you Google Texas Hot Wiener Sauce, you're going to find me because it's such a top secret recipe that nobody will put it out and it's took me about seven years to figure that out and it basically did launch my uh, YouTube cooking channel it, I, I think it was actually the first video I ever put up uh, I've, I've since done another one but it was it's really a popular thing up in upstate New York where I used to live and there's all these uh, Texas hot wiener places that make just incredible sauce it's just a topping for hot dogs but it is so good and it's a top secret recipe but I was able to figure it out so definitely Texas hot wiener sauce uh, favorite pasta dish spaghetti carbonara absolutely love it I, I like meatballs and spaghetti but hands down spaghetti carbonara is one of my favorites and I've made it a number of times I actually have, I think I have uh, at least one recipe on my channel of, uh, of how I make it uh, favorite kids meal it's been a long time since I've had a kid my son's grown up now but definitely one of his favorites was uh, was macaroni and cheese uh, probably hot dogs um, dish you always bring to parties potlucks or gatherings that would be a sad dish because a lot of people when I go to these things that the, the, the host might have like some kind of meat or something and then everybody ends up bringing desserts and <clears throat> people forget to bring <coughs> excuse me, side dishes. So there's a side dish I always make, and I make it, of course, in the crock pot. And it's, it's it, a tr traditional southern style green beans. And uh, what I'll do is before I go to bed the night before, I'll put all of the green beans in the crock pot with uh, bacon and onions and seasoning and then let that go overnight and then when I wake up in the morning it's ready to go and I just simply take that plug it in and keep it warm so I always bring like a big huge crock pot full of uh, 
green beans, southern style green beans. Okay, now keep this tag alive. Tag three friends. So the three friends, here they go. First is Stephanie Manley from Copycat Recipes. Stephanie's got a great channel. I, I do something similar. She she tries to break down uh, recipes and recreate them. And she actually has a book that I have uh, that I actually own, Copycat Recipes. And she, you know, figures out different restaurants, uh, signature dishes and stuff. And she she does a great job. Uh, the second one is Lynn's Recipes. I've been following Lynn, been subscribed to Lynn for quite a long time. Uh, she has a lot of really good down home southern style cooking uh, so definitely go check out Lynn uh, and the other is Gary House with Cooking Outdoors I've actually met Gary uh, a couple of times he's kind of in our, our barbecue circle well, he's in our barbecue circle not kind of and uh, I've actually met him a couple of times and uh, one was at uh, the Food Fight Right Food Bloggers Conference in Las Vegas and the other was recently at the YouTube VidCon out in California so uh, Gary's a great guy. Got a lot of really great ideas for cooking outdoors. He uses a lot of does a lot of Dutch oven cooking, which is really cool. And I just finished listening to his podcast. Him and uh, another friend, Sarah, have uh, launched a podcast, which was really interesting. I can't wait to to listen to more when they they had they're going to be inviting guests, different food bloggers, different foodies uh, that they're going to be interviewing and stuff like that. So can't wait to till they actually start getting into that T tonight was just an introduction and it was really interesting so there I have it I've tagged everybody I'm gonna tag and I'll leave uh, links in the description box below for each of these channels and I'll leave a link for Gary and Sarah's podcast if you want to check it out it was really cool um, so there it has there you have it folks this tag is done